Hello friends, this is Javi Mandan, welcome to Samsung Wave News, all the latest from RAM forums. First of all, uh, I can show you a new theme, which is called Orange, probably because it's from Orange, and it is Orange. Uh, they've changed the icons at the bottom there, and if we go into one of the applications, you can see very, very bright orange everywhere and orange tinted menus so it actually it looks quite nice um, it's very bright I've only got uh, the screen on level 3 brightness um, you put it up to 6 and uh, it kind of blinds you so um, it's different anyway a new widget from the app store this is a uh, AP mobile uh, news feed um, you just click to get the uh, full news stories and you can go straight from here to the AP site and lots of nice stuff, well implemented, good widget. Um, another widget from the App Store is this calculator. Um, I had a small calculator uh, last time which had tiny, tiny buttons and this one is even smaller um, and I thought it is not possible to press one of those buttons accurately, but it actually takes you to a big calculator, which is much, much better. Uh, here is just the Route 66 uh, application shortcut, takes you straight through to Samsung LBS. Um, that's good to have, I think just another shortcut for an application icon too big that's something that you can unpack the icon and um, change that yourself which is what I did with this clock here um, this is a, a weather clock and it's uh, only in German on the web but uh, if you use a tool called Eclipse with Samsung plugin a widget plugin you can actually unpack uh, the widgets and what I did simply was just change the language for the uh, days and the month display. Um, if you know a bit about Java or HTML, I'm sure you can modify the widgets. I don't know anything about that at all, so um, I stayed away from that. Here's uh, one of a series of widgets from uh, the Samsung Innovator site. It's not supposed to be for market um, at the moment. Uh, the graphics are, are quite poor. Um, the functionality is not perfect, um, especially the scrolling here. But you can see this is showing me the images I have on the phone. And I can just click to take me to one of those images. Uh, it will also allow you to look at the sounds, which scrolls much better, and also the videos. So, this is something I think that we can expect to see in the future, uh, in a, a nicer, more um, rounded off obviously bug free uh, as well for, for general release. The same for this, the task manager, this is not a task manager for your files or applications, it's simply it connects to your task application on the phone and it puts them on your home screen and from there you can edit them, you can um, add new tasks, so it's just an extension of the task application on the phone for your home screen and um, I like that, I think that's very good. Another one is uh, files which lets you browse through your files straight from your, uh, your home screen and it says here create file directory but I don't think that is functional. At the oh, okay, we can indeed enter a directory name and create that and there we go we can make uh, a create a file so 
file manager there. Um, I don't know how it changes from uh, directories in, in your phone because um, these files are all from one, one directory. But as I said, these aren't market ready widgets yet. Um, here's another one which as you will see um, is very ugly in its graphics but uh, this is as an app launcher would be very nice a very nice thing to have but at the moment it doesn't have full functionality um, some of them work some of them don't Um, something I did, uh, I've shown you this before, but I've just changed now the icons and shortcuts to make this uh, shortcut launcher personalised. Uh, again, you can do that without any knowledge at all of programming, just cut and paste um, URLs and icons. So that's something you can do very easily. Um, another way of having your icons in your desk is this uh, uh, icon or bookmark carousel. I can't remember what the guy called it. Um, he's a developer over in the French uh, forum. And I don't think it's the best way of having icons on your desk, but the graphics are very nice. Uh, if you can see, it kind of rebounds and bounces each time. And I think he's got about 20 or more, 20 or more icons, bookmarks. Anyway, nice graphics. Um, some more clocks. This clock here changes when you tap. Here is a translator. Uh, a Google uses Google Translate. You can choose the languages, and the translation comes up in tiny, tiny, tiny writing underneath. So, uh, again, that's just one of those projects that needs improving. Another clock that changes. Another clock. So, we've got lots and lots of clocks, that's for sure. Um, applications, there are um, a couple of new applications and especially these uh, dictionaries which are really, really excellent dictionaries and all completely free. So I don't think you could, uh, you could want a better dictionary than these here. Very, very good. Very, very good dictionaries. You can uh, save in your vocabulary. And there are uh, English, Spanish, English, German, English, Portuguese, English, French, English, Italian. Just one other application which I've been waiting for is a compass. Um, looks nice, but does it work? I don't know. I've been trying it outdoors today and uh, it doesn't seem to respond very well. If that's north now, then it should turn around. Maybe I have to uh, recalibrate the compass on my phone. Um, I'll do that and see uh, if it gets any better. Um, talking about the navigation, um, you may have seen that uh, Route 66 are offering all uh, Samsung Wave users a free, well actually not, not, not exactly free, it's a lifetime upgrade um, for 30 euros in the European region, you get a lifetime subscription to their navigation and you get free one year subscription to uh, something, um, maybe the traffic or the speed camera 
um, data, something like that. But anyway, the normal price uh, for one year subscription in the European region is 40 euros. So 30 euros for a lifetime subscription um, has got to be better 